Many headed to the lakefront or just their backyards for cooking out today. And if you were one of those, the number at the bottom of your receipt was probably higher than it was last year. Emily Strahan tells us about prices on the rise this holiday weekend and how some people are getting around paying them. If you feel like your Memorial Day cookout was more expensive than years past, you're right. No matter where you shop or what you're buying, everything seems to be a little bit more expensive this year than last. It's way more expensive nowadays. For Adam Shipley, it's not Memorial Day cookout without his wife's homemade ice cream. My wife's making ice cream. A, because we love it, but it's less expensive. But he says making it from scratch is getting pricey. $7 for four sticks of butter. $7 for a half gallon of milk. And even if he opted for the store bought, that's more expensive this year, too. It's astronomical sometimes, no matter what, an increase. And so then sometimes you just stop looking. While the rate of inflation is down from this time last year, most cookout essentials are still about 10% higher than they were in 2023. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, hamburger meat is up 40 cents per pound. Tomatoes about 10 cents per pound. And if you have to have relish on your hot dog, you're reading that label right. It's up 50%. But some people are finding ways to get around some of those sky high prices. You get the sale here on oh, Everbear is the sale. Sandra Bochamp starts making grocery runs a week in advance, finding sales and freezing the food until the big day. That's how I came across the ribs on sale, which they've been doing it every month. Certain days they put them out for the week and then they take them back. And when it comes to produce, she says her husband has that covered. My husband, he grows a lot of his uh, our vegetables because he's in a farmer's market. In New Orleans, Amelia Strahan, WWL, Louisiana. Another place you may have noticed a price hike is at the pump. According to AAA, gas is up seven cents since last Memorial Day weekend. And millions of Americans are dealing with those gas prices as they get home this holiday. AAA says this will likely be the busiest Memorial Day for travel in almost two decades. If you're planning to hit the road tomorrow, experts say, or hit the road today rather, experts say traffic will be most congested from 4 to 6 in the evening. Early this morning at Armstrong Airport, the security line was packed. Take a look at that. But security ran efficiently, got everyone to their flights without any major stalls. And nationwide, TSA says that Friday alone, more than 2.9 million people passed through TSA checkpoints. That's the highest number ever recorded.